Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Hayton on the little video production that we call the Lower Lights Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. And each day, Monday through Saturday, we try to sit down and spend a few minutes with you and always consider it a, a pleasure and a delight. Now, we have the Ten Commandments of the Old Testament. That's the law that God gave to Moses there on Mount Sinai. And yet, uh, you were not limited to those Ten Commandments. Throughout the scripture, there are many commandments. And I know that uh, a lot of the commandments that we have are overlooked, and some of those commandments are considered to be somewhat unimportant. Some of those commandments are considered to be rather optional in our life. But I can assure you, if the Bible gives us a commandment, then we ought to be obedient to that command. One of the commandments that we find in the scripture is, be ye kind one to another. And I believe that kindness is something that uh, oftentimes is overlooked in our life. Now, we aren't often intentionally unkind, but uh, a lot of times I think we don't go out of our way to be kind either. I've thought about my own life, and I always try to look back in my own life, and I think have there been times that I have been unkind to someone? Well, I'm sure that there is because we're all human and I believe that because of the weakness of the flesh and frailty of humanity, there are times that perhaps we have been a little bit unkind in our relationship with others. And I know sometimes the ones that we are unkind to or those that perhaps uh, we feel have wronged us in some way. We've been offended by them, and we are going to uh, be offended from time to time. Uh, boy, I tell you, some people carry their feelings right out on their shoulders and seem like they spend most of their time being offended by something or someone. But uh, it's going to happen because we are human and I know that there are times that I have felt that I was offended, and uh, more than likely it was a perceived offense, not a actual offense, but either perceived or actual. Sometimes we feel like that we have been wronged, and uh, it's sometimes a little difficult to be kind to those that we feel have wronged us in some way or offended us. The thing that we're supposed to do is to be forgiving. Uh, and the Bible say on beyond that uh, command, be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Christ has forgiven you. So if we are offended or hurt in some way, uh, sometimes we have a tendency to be unkind toward that person. We can be unkind uh, not only in what we say, but I think sometimes we are rather unkind in our neglect of our responsibility to our fellow man. We have a responsibility to reach out in love to everybody that we meet. Another command, love one another. And that doesn't just mean our friends and our family, but it can carry over into our foes. It can carry over into the friendless. And I look around and I see that I have opportunity sometime just to uh, reach out to somebody in Christian love. Just let them know that we love them, that God loves them. Reach out to meet their need in some way. And if we just neglect the opportunities of reaching out in Christian love, that can be a means of being unkind. Or you see... Reaching out in Christian love is an act of kindness. Neglecting to do so certainly can be considered as an unkindness. So on and on we could go about this matter, be kind one to another. But let's do, let's be kind to those, even those that have offended us or wronged us in some way. And those who need to, uh, an example and those who need the recipient of Christian love Let's be kind to all men. Heavenly Father, help us to show kindness. Help us, dear Lord, to reach out, to look for opportunities to be kind. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I plan to see you tomorrow on Lower Lights Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.